Hello, I'm back again. I feel like I need to lower that a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am, or at least I think I am. Nothing new has happened that much, except I have to say, I, I think this, I don't know if this is childish of me or what. You guys know that I've had two jobs and one is my main job and then I had a second job. I quit my second job today because I've worked for the GM in the past. He knew about my Achilles tendon surgery and I told him that I needed to sit down when I'm not busy, which was a hotel. So the guests aren't lined up for eight hours straight. So there were a lot of down times. And he was like, yeah, sure, sit down wherever you need to, sit down, yeah. He was real supportive about it. And of course I was happy about that. Well, he's the one that I worked with. Well, not he didn't work at this new hotel. He was a GM over it, but he would seldomly be there. But my first day he was there and he was very strict about anybody sitting down. And mind you, he knew that I knew that if a guest walked in, we had to stand up. But he was like, no, you push that chair out of the way where nobody can see it and sit down behind the door. And I'm thinking, if I sit there, I'm not gonna see the guests coming in or hear them, much less. And in this hotel, there wasn't hotel cameras on the TV screens, on the monitors where I could see them, especially where he told us where to sit. So I went and got a doctor's note yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, I went there for other reasons, but I got a doctor's note, doctor's note stating that I still needed to sit down. Being on my foot that long is excruciating. It's a long recovery. I keep saying that, but it is. So I sent him that letter and he sent me a text. What happened? And I sent him a text and I said, well, I've had the Achilles tendon surgery. You, you remember that from the last time I worked with you, which was not even a year ago. And I said, it's a long recovery, blah, blah, blah. He said, give me a call. I don't know why people say that. Instead of saying, give me a call, call me. So I called him and he's like, well, how, are you, how do you think that this is going to work? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And he goes, if you have to sit down all day, how, how are you going to do your job? And I said, I don't need to sit down all day. I said, when we're not busy, I will need to sit down. And he's like, well, that could be a problem. And I said, would you rather me not work with you or work for you anymore? And he said, well, that's, that's up to you, but that might be an issue. He said, you have to sit over there in the corner where nobody can see you and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why is he making this so difficult? And I told him, I said, I don't ever abuse that of sitting down. I've never abused it when I worked with you before. I wouldn't do it now. I said, I will be standing up doing my job as I'm supposed to do, but I will have to sit down when nobody's around. And then he, he repeated himself, I needed to sit in the corner where nobody could see me or the chair or me sitting in the chair, I should say. I'm like, okay. And he's like, I, and he kind of laughed. He said, I, I just kind of feel that this is going to be a problem. And I'm like, you could call the doctor and ask questions if you need to. Well, they're not gonna tell me anything. I said, yeah, they will if I call them and tell them that it's okay. He's like, no, no, we don't need to go that far. I said, okay, well, I'll talk to you later because I was on my way to work. And I sit there in my car and I'm thinking, that whole conversation was rude on his part, I feel, in more ways than one. One way is being that even though there wasn't guests and I didn't have the surgery, even though the guests were not in the hotel at the desk, I think it's cruel that we have to stand in one spot for eight hours. I don't think any job should do that. Now, mind you, if you're working in a factory and you're moving around, that's a whole different story. Those thick mats that they have for you to stand on does not work. That was rude. And that was rude that he had to tell me that me sitting down was going to create a problem. That was rude also. 
because you have to respect the um, medical reasons why we have to do things like that. You're not supposed to down us about it. You're not supposed to put us down about it. You're supposed to adhere to it and say, okay, we'll do what we have to do. You could put the chair in the front by the computer because you have a doctor's note. What is so wrong with that? What is so wrong with sitting in a chair at the computer desk when a guest comes in? I don't understand. Do you understand? <laughs> if you do, let me know. Now, I will admit, it looks less tacky, if that's the word, that you're standing instead of sitting. But it doesn't really look tacky if you're sitting. If you're sitting there, not on your phone, not Googling stuff on the company computer and you're not watching videos on your phone and and you're doing your job I don't think anybody cares if you're sitting or standing just saying I thought that I would do this that is actually um, a metaverse uh, tones that he creates for you to meditate with or whatever in certain megahertz and he does that, that's my ring light right there that my finger's covering. But he does these type of things as his music is playing. And I thought, well, instead of sitting here with a black screen behind me, why not do something creative and artistic? Because I am artistic. So this one is going to be a short one. I don't know why I felt the need to get on here and talk about today's incident. I am looking for another job already. I uh, don't know what I'm going to get, but I'm sure I'll get one. Jobs are hard to get nowadays. No, not, they're not, jobs aren't hard to get. It's hard to get people to work at the jobs nowadays because of what's going on in the world. But I should get one eventually and soon. So I hope you guys are doing well. I love you all so much. And I am going to end this here. I'm sending you all love and light. Bye. Like and subscribe.